Hey guys, and welcome back to Race to Win, the sailing podcast where we use 3D replays of actual sailboat races to discuss racing tactics, the rules, techniques, and lots more. So today we're going to look at the Race Cues 3D replay engine and go over some of the basic features. In this replay, we have two other boats. Now I have randomized this race so that you can't see the actual boat names to protect the innocent or guilty, who knows. And you can see this was in San Francisco Bay. There's the city front, the Golden Gate Bridge. It's pretty cool, right? There's a lot of different things happening here. A lot of buttons. The functionality of this thing is really amazing. So let's start with the most basic thing. The very first thing you're gonna see, which is the dashboard here on the right. You have six gadgets available to you, VMG, speed over ground, course over ground, compass heading, drift, and heel. Sounds great, right? If you just record a replay with your phone and you have it in your pocket or maybe in your bag, you're only going to get these first three gadgets here. In order to get these last three, the phone actually needs to be moving with your boat to sense that. And there's directions in the app too. So what these actually are are histograms that are flattened out each of these colors is a data point. The Race Cues app is picking up data from your boat every second. And so every second, boop, a little dot appears. And the way that these histograms work, each tenth of a knot increment has its own shade of color. The darker the shade, the more the plot has appeared. This is showing you everything that's happened to your boat for your VMG in the last two minutes. And remember, VMG is velocity made good. So sometime in the last two minutes, we dropped all the way down here and we also were all the way up here. But most of the time we've been in these darker areas. So this little red line, let's push play so you can see, that's what we're doing right now. We, oh good, we're accelerating, thank goodness. Now you also see there's a little black triangle right here. That's the mean, um, sort of the average of all these data points. And the red is the target. So the Race Cues app actually takes into account all this data and it tells you what it thinks you should be doing. You should be doing at least this good. This is your target VMG, given what it guesses is the wind speed, direction, et cetera. And that's the same for all of these. The black triangle is the mean, the red one is the target. So now that you know the darker spots are where you've been the most, as you hit play, you can kind of start to see how you've been doing on different legs of the race. You can look at it and, and see where you are just visually using the darker spots of color. So let's take a look at these first three gadgets, which you'll get when you record with the Race Cues app. Whether it's mounted or not, you can stick it in your pocket. You'll still get these. You've got your VMG which is your velocity made good. That's just how good you're doing at trying to get where you're going upwind, directly upwind in this case. The speed over the ground is, is how good you're actually doing really in real life against the bottom of the ocean. And then your course over the ground, that is the actual course of your boat. The way that you were moving after all the forces being acted on you have played out, the wind, the current, etc. So you've got your compass heading where you're pointing and your course over ground while you're actually going. And we'll get back to that. Now, if you upload a track and you don't see your VMG yet, you need to go over here and make sure that you have the course set up. Um, it's pretty easy. You can just add waypoints right like this. And I'm going to do a whole nother podcast on how to set up your course. But as long as you have a start line and at least one mark, then the app will be able to figure out the wind direction and will give you that VMG. Let's take a look at these next ones, heading, drift, and heel. These are the three that you get if your phone is mounted. You'll notice that most of the things in the interface you see in 2D and then also in 3D depicted in different ways. So right now you have two lines coming out the front of the boat. One of them indicates your course over ground and the other one shows you your compass heading. And then the distance between the two is your drift. So as they get wider and wider apart, some force was acting on your boat to cause drift. So your boat's pointing this way, but you're actually going that way. So now I want to talk about the last thing, which is your angle of heel. But basically flat is fast, right? So from this angle, remember your phone was stuck down to your boat. 
was moving with your boat. So this is an accurate representation of what was actually happening. Okay, so here we are sailing upwind. We can look at our heel angle for the last two minutes. So, whoa, here we go. Whoa, big puff. Look at that. You can see we turned up in the puff a little bit and watch things as they're happening. So that pretty much sums up these gadgets. If you're not using one and you want to turn it off, just click on the name and it will minimize it. Remember, 120 little data points for the last two minutes. We get one every second. The darker colors are where you were most of the time. You'll always have speed over the ground, course over ground, and VMG, as long as you remember to go over here to settings and set up at least a starting line and a mark. And you will get the last three, compass heading, drift, and heel, if you mount your phone. See you next time. If you enjoyed this podcast, you can find more on our website, www.racecues.com slash podcast, or search for Race Cues on iTunes and click subscribe. 